Greetings everybody, I'm Brian D0313, welcome to our Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we got Realm, we got Strago, we got Umaro. Yeah, Umaro. And yeah, we did some side questing. Today, I did more progress with the B team. So, uh, I got Trump and Cena in because I feel like it's been a while since we've seen them. And of course, we need Grumps and Dick on the team because they haven't seen much action. Um, in the off video, I got the uh, Genji shield, as I said. And I got a bunch of Genji armors. I think we have four of them now. I think someone's wearing one of them, yeah. And all you gotta do is, um, you have to gamble uh, at the Coliseum, you have to gamble away Tabby suits, Moodle suits, Church Bow suits, and Nutkin suits. And there's um, a set path for that. One leads into another one, and eventually they lead into the Genji armor. And now we have lots of them. If. Oh, someone else. Two people have them. Pretty much the best armor in the game, much better than the Force Armor. Though Force Armor does provide better magical evasion. Okay. Um, I was thinking about our buddy, the, um, what's, um, uh, what's his face? What am I thinking about? Oh, um, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Oh, the Tom Berry. I was thinking about the Tom Berry. And I think I have a way to deal with him after this episode, well, at the end of this episode. Over here, we're at Triangle Island, and there's this dude. He's just gonna inhale us, because that's what he does. I have to actually kill this guy at some point in time. It's another scary looking worm. By the way, if you kill it, you don't, you're not actually killing your teammates. So don't wor wor uh, worry about that. Any day now. Any day now. I don't think he does any physical attacks. I think he just inhales. I could be mistaken. I'll probably come back here later on with um, one of my eight teamers. And I always thought that we were inside his belly here, but I think he just takes us down to a cave and spits us out. So this is. Uh, triangle, triangle Island Cave Map. Oh, oh, <laughs> cave. Uh, if we go up, there's that's the exit. There are six enemies here. One apparently is marked as rare, so that'll be fun to get. And this dudes, what's up? Hey, no! I don't know who those dudes are, but they kicked us down here. Get a high ether and a red jacket. Sweet. Um, that, I think that can only be equipped by, um, Edgar and Sabin. This is sort of a ninja, uh, ninja cave because we just steal a lot of, um, ninja items from these dudes. Uh, what we got here? We got to have a lot of arms, uh, Kumui, and a big blobby thing called a warp pug. I love that damage. And I got our boy, uh, um, John Cena there working on the curse shield. It's okay, experience. Anyone close? Not really. Nothing new here. I really hope it's not a pain to find that rare enemy. And I hope it's not on a random, on a specific floor. That's the thing that annoys me sometimes, is when uh, enemies only show up on specific floors. Okay, so the thing we want to do here is, when he's out of the way, just jump like that. And we're done here. And we got the Genji armor. More Genji armor. Ha <laughs> ha! brush. Is that any better for Realm? It is. Then we want him to come all the way. There we go. Can you get out of the way? Come on! Yes! And we got the fake mustache. That will. That's the relic for our realm. And only realm. Oh, by the way, uh, the momentum ring. If you notice, only realm and. Where's the momentum ring? 
Only Realm and Shadow can equip this thing. <laughs> so where's our fake mustache? Right there. Change the stretch command into control. So now she can control enemies. And I think she could pick whatever ability she, uh, she wants from them. Oh, that was close. This dungeon is fairly short. And we got a save point already. They probably expected us to do that multiple times. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll save. Uh, I'd run it up a bunch of rages. We should be at 196 now. 197 if you got the Tom Berry. Um, so we're here. If we get hit by the rocks, we die. And here we got a Zephyr uh, Cloak. And a hero's ring. And next spot, we have to kind of see where. I think it's right here. Because it's impossible to make it to the end. As far as I know. Come down here. And then we'll grab uh, this treasure chest. Which has a pinwheel, which I think is the best thrown item in the game. We can actually bet a bunch of Fuma Shirk. Are you kidding me? What was it because I was I was in that on that pause screen? Because it just dropped on us. Uh, we could uh, bet Fuma Shurikens to get more pinwheels. If you're into that sort of thing. I wonder if enemies can spawn in this room. like all games if um if something hits the ground we get knocked out momentarily oh take your train for that one not looking too hot here I hate how it just instantly kills us oh let's try this again see where it is. Oh, that was close. I remember that for next time I fuck up. Oh, wow! I didn't think I was, I was in the safe zone. I thought I was in the safe zone. Let's get out of here! Now where are we? Where are we? idea where we are. Uh, oh, okay, I see where we are. Oh, we could be attacked here. Cool. And two new enemies. Shablin Corpse. So let's see what Control does. Okay, so it show now it shows uh, his abilities that he could do. Let's have him cast Flare on. There it dude. Aw, oh, you fucker. By the way, uh, using the uh, fake mustache is a good way to uh, get lures uh, for straight up because, well. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you could just pick the, uh, the ability that you want him to learn. I wonder how close we are on this uh, cursed shield. Okay, this room is a little bit gimmicky. There's one treasure here. And we gotta jump across a bunch of uh, chests. Can't go left because it's two tiles wide. And we wanna jump down here, we press this button, and it makes stuff happen. Here. And we did another Thunder Shield, which we could turn into a Genji Shield. Awesome! Are we doing our levels? Nah. Yeah, 
made it to the end. And we attacked. Awesome. <gasps> There's a rare enemy that uh, chick at the top. Uh, the chick at the top is a uh, Beelzefan. And the other chick is an Amdushi. Yes. We're still missing one enemy. It's interesting that we found the rare one. I just want to kill it. Oh, it's dead. Cool. Sweet. And there's a guy here. What's up, bruh? A man shrouded in strange clothing. Or perhaps a woman. Perhaps not even human at all. Sort of looks human ish. And we got Dodo the Mimic. This is the second optional character in the game. By the looks of his eyes, he's black. Maybe, or he could be a lizard man. Huh, who knows? Well, why didn't you just leave this place? Why are we here? Oh, we're here to pick him up. Yes, we're here to save the world! Okay, we got two achievements there for uh, picking up Dodo and for getting all of our party members together. Sweet! Oh, you're uh, close to leveling up. So, Dodo is another, uh, just, um,. He's another optional character, which means he follows the optional character rotation rules. In that I'm not going to be using him, unless if I want to. He's actually a pretty good character because he's a mimic, and that means you could apply any character's abilities on, onto him. So for instance, you could give him uh, the Blitz, you could give him Rage, what else do you want to give him? You could give him Control, uh, Tools, anything, Steel. And he just becomes pretty, and he can be a pretty powerful character. But, um, I myself, eh, maybe I'll use him, maybe not. I'd rather just stay with the A team. He can't learn any magic, but on the other hand, he can actually. You can teleport out of here if you want. Um, you can actually up, uh, apply the magic ability to him, and he should know all the spells that we've learned to date. I don't know how it works, but I know he'll know the spells. Are there even any enemies here? So anyway, I'll try to look for the, um, the final enemy. I think I might actually have to leave this place. I, th I could swear I've seen it before in the first room. One of the first rooms. Then I mean I have to go back to that evil, oh, that evil room of hell that kept on getting killed in. So I'll probably teleport out of here and get sucked back in. Almost leveled up. Let's give you uh, Bismarck so you can get some uh, strength. And I'll meet you back when we find the dude. Okay, and here's your new enemy. Uh, See what they are. Coverts. Probably assholes, I am assuming. Because they're ninja type dudes. Keep your ass and take your names. I also killed the Zone Seeker just to, um, uh, just to get his thing as well. Okay, you gained a level. Were you working on Phoenix? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, you don't have anything. You're the worst mage in the world there, set uh, straight go. Okay. See, 
next place we're gonna go is Figaro Castle. We're gonna stay with the eight with the B team. Should probably put an A team around the team, but I, I believe in ourselves. Let's land right here. If I get attacked in the desert. Uh, he'll learn magic anyway. Okay, first off, let's heal up. Yes! And let's, uh, let's go travel by the castle. Yes, let's head to South Figaro. Why we're four? Why don't we just take the airship? I don't know how anyone's supposed to figure this out without a guide, but... Um... Uh, let's stop here. Let's see what's going on. What can it possibly be? Oh look, the door's open again. And we're in the cave to the ancient castle. Uh, there are four... Uh, three enemies plus a uh, treasure chest enemy that we can meet up with here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, six treasures. Um, this place might be a bit tricky. Let me just see these enemies, see what the experience is like. So I'm a bit unsure with. Oh, yeah, well, straight goes don't learn, get magic plus two anyway. Um, trying to figure out where to go. Here's our first new enemy, Eno. Can I control them? What special is? And eh, who knows? Oh, I guess hitting him breaks the control. Yeah, once again, I don't really know how to properly use Realm. Decent experience. More battles, I would say. Let's go in here. We get a win edge. Splendid. Yeah, we wander down here as well. Next. Grab this treasure. And get attacked by... These dudes again. Okay. What are they called? Inuo. Whatever. Another awkward name that no one knows how to pronounce. Learn Thandara, Bazara, and Faraga. How are you doing? Um, you're not doing too well. Anyone else? Anyone close? Uh, we'll just put her onto that thing. And we've got Death Terror, which I think will be a weapon for Trump there. Actually, what does it do? Probably, uh, chance of casting Death. Okay, so I think that there's a difference between the Death Terror and the Viper Darts, because I tried using the Viper Darts against an enemy that's weak to instant death at the Col Coliseum, but it didn't work. I'm guessing Death Terror would probably work. So we'll give him the Death Terror. Finally a better weapon for him. Let's do some backtracking. And two more new enemies. We have Figaro Lizard and Devil. He is a devil. Let's see. Okay, so that's all the new enemies that we can find here. Other than the uh, treasure chest dude. We'll probably die to because we have the B team in. Awesome. What do we steal from these dudes? Nothing valuable. Nothing valuable. Nothing valuable. Nothing valuable at all. 
Oh, a lot of experience there. Grumps gained a level. Let's see, what can he start working on? Maybe get him uh, Fefnir. Get him some banishment. Yeah, I think we, I think banishment is uh, more important right now. To... Okay, you're good, Realm. See, where do we want to go to next? I'm trying to figure out how to get to the end because I'm trying to figure this out. Suck it, bitch. Did gain the level. We're getting some decent uh, match points here. Um, let's see, see he's getting close to the level. What does a mid, uh, Midgard Summer teach us? HP. Uh, HP would be good. I should probably give uh, more HP to Mog. Hi, Ether. Hey, this is him patch his way that I don't that I don't know about. Yeah, so uh, to get the uh, Genji armor, I use Mod for some uh, some of the battles, and then I use a uh, Setzer with uh, Genji clothes for the other battles. And I gotta say, Mod's annoying me with his freaking dances at the Coliseum. Like, you'd be so good if you didn't dance. Grump Storm Teleport. Do we level up yet? Next battle. Okay, you working on Bismarck. Or we just pay back to what you were working on. Oh, almost done with the uh, that thing. Cool. Let's just make sure everyone's healed. Quick save just for the fun of it. And we got a monster in the box for boss battle against the Master Tom Barry. He's so evil. Uh, so this guy has 22,000 HP, he's level 73. We can steal a Mega Elixir from him, and a regular Elixir. So I think, I think what we'll do is we'll use Traveler on him. Oh, that's expensive. Can we control him? Oh, I can't control him? Holy shit! You have a rise, right? Come back to life! Taste the power of that! What did he just do? Well, he moved closer, which probably isn't that good for us. Guess he counters with. Oh wow, that's that was lucky. Guess he counters with Traveler. Oh, he did a barrier change. And he gets closer. And he's dead. Good job, team! After this, I need to figure out how to get to the, um, the next area because... Oh, I see. I see. Okay, Gladius. Do we get any AP? I'd be happy if we didn't. I think we can go through over here. Oh, we can't go through here. 
Gonna put you back on Bismarck before something bad happens. And now we go down this way. I don't think you can use teleport to get out of this dungeon. Tack. 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 Bushido. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. Uh, I should probably be cutting out these random encounters. What do you think? John Cena. Let's see, working on the um, you. This pathway. Okay. Uh, anyone close to levels? Well, you learned Fenrir, so you're good there, buddy. Now let's put you on Bahamut. Okay, we're going to skip this and get attacked again. Here we get a uh, magicite shard. And up here, ex potion. Cool. Okay. And head down here. Should be a save. Let's tent this one up. We don't even have that many tents. It's kind of awkward. Then again, we haven't really used that many. I, mean, I gotta say, uh, Stray Joe's uh, tent right there looks pretty badass. Let's head over here. It's uh, a castle? What? I'm confused. What is this place? Loose our espers. Espers go. Where espers like um like Pokemon. This is a site of a thousand year old battle. Ooh, Odin. You better be recovered. How do you know that's the final battle? There could be more battles. A city destroyed during the War of the Magi. By the way, that could have been anyone that started talking about this. Is it Tetsuken? Wrecked. Pretty badass of your horse. It's a ghost! Fight! Kick his ass, Odin! It's in Oh, I failed. You can't slice the ghost in half. No! You're impressive. I never thought you'd be able to turn me to stone. Yeah, that's how Odin turned to stone. There's a legend that tells of an ancient battle between the Esper, Odin, and powerful maid, Magus. It took place in the great hall of a castle. So this castle's been here forever, underground? Okay. Let's see, there's some, uh, some hidden doorways here that we might, uh, you might miss out on. We're gonna go up here first. And open this chest to get a monster! For a boss battle. Against this dude who's gonna throw a war scroll at us. Let's see, we got a, uh, a samurai soul. He has 37,620 HP. Steal a Miracamo and a Marasamune. Let's see, what else can I find out about him? Uh, 
Let's see. He's weak to poison. Of course. Let's have you use Traveler. Do you have bio? Watch, he's not going to have bio. There's a flare. Let's throw a flare at him. I know you have bio. Let's just have you do your Ritter Dispatch. That's pretty good. Had we had seven on the team, he'd be dead by now. Oh, well, that was pretty weak. Let's just have him do fistful attacks. Oh my god! I didn't know she was still doing flare. Let's have her cast a rise. What's he doing? He's powering up! Secure our peeps. Why did you miss? That's not cool. Wait a second. Does he have a shield up? Did I notice that earlier? Let's get on the attack and throw more travelers at him. That didn't do anything. And he's dead. Cool. Not too bad at all. By the way, there are uh, two new enemies in this uh, this part of the dungeon. I think one of them can only show up in a certain location. And we got the Master Scroll, which will come in hand. I think will come in hand with killing the Tomberry. We're going to equip that on Trump here, and that allows the character to attack four times per weapon. So Trump will be attacking eight times. <gasps> so awesome! I think it'll be best to give it to Trump. We're doing our levels. Almost close. Come on, new enemy. We'll be seeing some old enemies as well. Like these dudes. Oh, yeah, by the way, it randomly hits enemies. So awesome, we just need to have more attack power. Oh, please don't confuse the team. No! Oh, so good. And Trump learned to rise. And Karaga. I think someone else to work on. Um, on Phoenix. Uh, re race is uh, very valuable, but I think I'd rather get uh, a rise in Karada on all my uh, characters. Levi oh, yeah, by the way, Leviathan, he just flood. Probably never going to use it. Sensor has all the key spells, so let's have him work on Midgar Summer. And then let's just have him uh, get some more strength. Get a Punisher. What is a Punisher? I think it's a sword. Oh, you can equip the Gladius now. Sweet. Forgot about the Gladius. I know that um, our boy Sabin. No, not Sabin. Walk can equip it. What's a Punisher, though?
Oh, it's a staff. Rod that draws MP from its wearer to deal critical damage. Oh, I don't want that. Maybe we have to be inside to fight these enemies. Okay, here's another new enemy, Luna Tice. Good job there, buddy. Okay, just want to look at my map. Sweet. And let's just get attacked again. And here's the last new enemy. Um, armored weapons. I think these tend to be quite deadly. But with our team, I think we should be pretty good. Start launchers. Come on, you're better than this. Look at that damage. I might have to give it to uh, the Master Scroll to someone else. Usually, Setzer's better than this. It's kind of interesting how Mech was able to find its way down here. And it's dead. Cool. That's all new enemies. And the game is level sweet. Now let's find someone else to cure. Someone that doesn't really use MP. Okay, come up here. And hey, it's Odin! Turn into Matricite Shard of Odin. I may I'll just do that to Trump instead. Odin is a very uh, unique uh, Matricite. I wonder what that spot is. In that he's one of the very few uh, Matricites that did teach us speed plus one. In the SNES version, he is the only Esper that teaches speed plus one or gives, uh, gives us speed. Whereas in this game, I think there's an art Esper that gives a speed bonus, which is okay. He also teaches a Meteor, but at a, a very slow rate. Okay. By the way, there's a button right there, but I'll, I would do that. I'm going to do that a little bit later. Get a Blizzard Orb, which I think is for Umaro, and Gold Hairpin. Okay, Drums here, Learn Flare. So what else do we want to teach him? He's one of Phoenix abilities, but we'll get that later. So we could have him work a little bit on Ketzel. I don't have regen yet. That's how far behind this dude is. Or, oh, he doesn't have bio, he doesn't have berserk, he doesn't have anything. I'll put him on, I'll put him on that. And someone needs to be Asuna or Poison Duh. Got the treasures there, let's head down this way. Get a lift X alert, sir. Let's uh, check you out. Huh? Cross it with the glittering gems. Queen's diary. Ooh, secretive. Let's see what uh such a story she has. I have fallen in love with Odin. Ooh, is that even allowed? It is a forbidden love, I know. But the flames of passion obey. Not rule or reason. Every time I think that noble man, of that noble man, my heart flutters and fans of the flames yet more. And who to great, greatly fault it? When the fight ends, I shall tell him I must. What about the king? Now, I, there's supposed to be something that tells us this, but please don't beat the big dude. Okay, good. But, um, you know that button that we saw, or, uh, that little uh, icon that we saw earlier in this room? Well, there's, su su there's supposed to be something that tells us about that. It says, uh, walk so many steps uh, south of the throne. I could have sworn it was here. It might be somewhere else. Maybe really someone tells us. Hey, you're poisoned again.
By the way, um, with the Master Scroll, we might be able to kill uh, Doodles as well. Oh, you're ready to uh, level up. Let's give you some more... Give you Zone Seeker for more magic. And you already have magic on yourself. So was it one, two, three, four, five? It was five steps. I remember it being five steps south from the throne. I think inside only three enemies could possibly spawn, which are uh, these two enemies plus that uh, big mech dude. Because we haven't seen anything else, right? And now he's poisoned. Everyone's getting poisoned. Level and she's about ready to level up. Get back to work at uh, Berserk. Right? Berserk. Hmm, I wonder what's down here. Huh. This room looks familiar. <gasps> Dragon! Oh, I didn't know who's gonna run into me. This is an, a blue dragon, which I'm assuming is going to be weak to fire. Let me just be sure about this. Lightning. That was close. What do we got for magic? The Daga. Booyah! The Dara. Attack. Oh, I didn't show uh, off his information. Um, he's got 26,900 HP. And he's weak to lightning. Doesn't, uh, can't steal anything from this dude. Come on, Strato. You're better than this at damage. I think we should be relatively fine because of all the uh, magic protection all equipment that we have. And that's it. And for our trolls, we get the uh, Zen uh, Zen Tetsuken, which I think is either a spear or a um, or a sword. Three dragons left. Let's see, where is one of them? Three dragons. I know where two of them are. Oh, I know where the third one is. Okay. Uh, you're still getting close. The sword may randomly dispatch an enemy in one hit. Can you equip it? Oh, you can't. Cool. Oh no, she's a stone. Okay, I'm not going to talk to her. If if you talk to her, then you will lose the Odin's uh, Esper, and it'll turn into Raiden, which uh, which you learn the Twitch spell from, but you lose that uh, speed plus one. I'm not going to do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out of here and then head over to the Coliseum. So I'll meet you there. Okay, uh, we got a new, uh, three new enemies here. I didn't know that these enemies would spawn here. They'll spawn somewhere else, but we got a uh, Surrender, Samurai, and Koko. Let's just uh, do our thing. And win. Maybe next time we go to the vault, we'll just get them cleared up right away. Okay, we're back at the Coliseum. Let's see how well Mark can do with the um, with the Master Scroll now. As long as he doesn't attack. Why are you dancing, you fucking asshole? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, we're gonna lose here. 
Because he likes to do his stupid dances all the time. Maybe one of my other characters has more physical attack power. Like, had he just danced or uh, attacked, he should have been good. And that happens. Okay. Well, oh well. Okay, I gave up on the Tomberry because apparently that's not working. So let's uh, let's try Giggles to try. Because why not? Where are you, Excalibur? Please don't tell me everything's like out of order. It'd be cool if you like search. Uh, search the names instead of having like just go through randomly it's Probably like hidden somewhere amongst everything There you are. Seriously, you could use Traveler? Okay, let's try this with Mog, who has enough HP to handle Traveler. Oh. I probably should have given him something else for equipment. Yeah, it's a nice sword. Attack mug. Ah, oh, I didn't do. I don't have to jump for him. God damn it. Steal something. You can't touch him. I think that we might be able to get rid of all those uh, status buffs of his. Oh, Dispel. I think Dispel will work. It's two hits. Why are you oh yeah, you're doing less damage. Oh, you fucker. Yeah, Mark should be jumping. Yeah, keep on. T about to say, keep on attacking Mark because of the fact that. Let's just defend everyone. Because he can't damage him. That's not too bad. Uh, mug, tools, chainsaw the shit out of him. I don't know why you're missing. I usually thought, I thought that was always his last attack. I think we did it. Goodbye, motherfucker. You're dead. Get Genji Helm for our troubles. Yay! We're gonna do my strength. And we got the magic site for Diddles. Oh, this also teaches strength. Cool. And teaches uh, quick too, which means uh, no riding. Don't know what Valor does. I think I want to get some um, HP plus 20 there, or HP, whatever. Get your eyes going. Cool. 
Okay, we got one more thing that we want to do today. Going ahead back down to Miranda. By the way, Leviathan, Giggles, and two other Espers are, are um, well, the new Espers, they weren't in the uh, SNES version, they were, they were in the advanced version and this version. We never talked to this guy, though, this awkward looking guy. Yeah. There's a huge Cactar. Okay, so we just... Okay, so now we just activated the Cactar side quest, so what we have to do is... We have to fight cat, uh, 10 Cactars in the desert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that off-screen, and... Then I'll cut it to the very end where we're going to do the final part. I'll try you back. I think I killed three Cactars. I think... Or, not three. Uh, ten Cactars. Um, they're ready to go. There's some new spells along the way. Now we want to go down here. What? The hell, game. Okay, here we go. So this is Gigantor. It is a giant Cactar. It's a boss. It's uh, not in the SNES version, it's in the advanced in this version. And we get to fight it. And just like all Cactars, it has a chance to use a thousand wooden needles. Awesome! I uh, can't steal anything from it, so let's just do a normal thing of uh, that. And let's. And let's get uh, some Karaga on everyone because we're not fully healed. And jump. This guy is kind of hard to kill off in the very end. And apparently you can do shit like that. Let's bring him back to life. Attack. Come on, Mod, you're better than that. Ha ha. Thousand one needles always does just a thousand damage, regardless of defense. Hey, okay, jump, jump, please jump. You only cured yourself, cheap bastard. Okay, I think we finished him off because his final attack will be a th uh, several of these thousand one needles. Luckily, since uh, Marge is in the air, we should win this. Yeah, and yeah, we killed the ca giant cactar. Woohoo! We get some gill, and what's this? Magicite. Another one of the uh, new Magisites, and we get the Cactar Magisite. What does that do for us? Well, we already know all this stuff. Oh, speed plus two? Then we don't need you anymore, Odin. Actually, you teach me here. Okay, so there's one, uh, there's one more optional, um, optional, optional Esper, which I believe is this slot. One of these is Raiden, right? I think this is Raiden Rock. One of these is Raiden, and one of these is the final Esper in the game. So that's it for this episode. Next time, um, well, in between episodes, I will grind up more Rages. See what to do with, uh, with that Tom Berry. Maybe I can kill him. I don't know. And uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to get as many rewards as possible for Setzer, and that's it. So until then, it's been Brian D0313 saying, See ya and have a good day. Oh my god! We found Tom Berry in the Yeti cave, and it didn't take me that long. But sadly, I just auto about, so I'm probably fucked here. Actually, no, uh, March jumping, so that might be beneficial. Uh, he w um, as we all know, he will counter every attack with a uh, knife, plus uh, the other thing that he does, um, what is that, Traveler? I should really turn that off. And she's dead.
I think we're relatively good here. I, Mark should be able to kill him. Ha ha! But I think he's gonna kill him. Fuck! Please don't die! Yes! Ah, oh, finally dead. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. Yeah, that would have gone better if I didn't accidentally put the uh, auto battle on. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, I was watching a uh, football. I just uh, looked over and uh, oh shit, it's Tom Berry. Fuck! Oh, yeah, a lot of ability points for that. 1 in 16th chance, my ass. It is actually 1 in 16th, and apparently, according to this, um, it's on the upper two floors, but not Umaro's room. So, not too hard, huh?